Oh, my bad. I'm sitting here eating crackers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I gotta get something to drink real quick. All right. Whew. I'm proud of you, Jay. Face of fears, man. <laughs> I love it. All right, hold on. Let me get the peanut butter out of my mouth. Hold on. I ain't eat all day. I've been on calls all day. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start connecting it to live. <laughs> <laughs> Five or two. I knew it was. Okay, so share. Okay. You're going to see it at the top. It says preparing for live. Um, I'm still typing some stuff in. All right. So we'll put the title. I like the title too. Yeah, it, it came to me out of nowhere. Like something said, Jay, do your topic on settlement and sacrifice and do it at one o'clock. As soon as I heard that, I said, Oh, let me go ahead and tell ISIS. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> That's the spirit coming through. Right, right. Okay, I'm putting the title in right now. So, do I look sideways or do I look? Um, no, you look, look good. Look? Okay, no, okay, cool. No, it look good. Okay, cool. Um, I think I spelled it right. S A C R I F I C E. Mm mm. S A C R I. F I C E. You left a letter out. <laughs> oh, I know I still spelled it wrong then. Hold on. S A C R -I, R I F I C E. Oh, you forgot a letter. I spelled it like how you spelled it on the flyer. Oh, snap. I thought I had put it on. <laughs> That's why it's messing me up. Hold on. I got to see how I spelled this word. Oh, I, I spelled it wrong. I put an A instead of an I. Um, that's why that's what it is. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why I keep coming up like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of spelled it wrong. All right, it's all good. Okay, I think I got it. They gonna know. They gonna know. They gonna know. Right. Is it two eyes? Hold on, we spell yes. it wrong. Let's see. I'm gonna put it in my thing. Sack. Yeah, S A C R I F I C E. Okay, it, it's in. Okay, we're going live. We're in there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Welcome, 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 everybody. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I am so super excited today about this uh, wonderful live that I'm gonna be having today, you guys. I have an amazing. Uh, guest speaker from my community that I'm just ecstatic really to hear about. But before I bring her on here, I want to let you know something about Jay. Let me tell you, for me, Jay is a prime example for me of sacrifice. And today our, our title is uh, <clears throat> Settlement and Sacrifice. And what better person to have on here but her? Let me tell you about her. And I hope she won't mind me getting a little personal, right? 
Jay has been through a lot of different things in her life in the last past year that most people would give up on. Most people would just settle. Most people would just sit in the slumps. But let me tell you something about Jay. She is ex-military. Uh, she has a heart of gold. And she really has a willingness to just keep persevering no matter what. You guys, I have seen her go through deaths in the family certain type of surgeries and certain things in her life and past that most people are like you know what i'm just done i'm good but see jay was focusing on more than just herself jay was focusing on her bloodline thinking about her lineage thinking about her family and how it, it wasn't just about her you guys so <clears throat> needless to say you guys she is an amazing person. If you're tuning in from her uh, page, I want you to know that you have a special person, you know, on your page that definitely will help you go anywhere. So, Jay, how are you feeling today? Are you there? <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm great. Great. Blessed to be alive. Yes, 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 man. So I'm so excited that you decided to do this interview. Uh, thank you so much. I know you're very busy um, helping people and doing things. So thank you that I can get some of your time and um, have this interview. So I have a couple of questions that uh, some people wanted to know from the chat as far as when it comes to like settling and sacrifice. Do you mind if I ask you some of those? Go ahead. Okay, cool. So like, have you ever uh, settled? just to get by like have you ever been like oh i'm just gonna do it just so i can survive <laughs> yeah um so after i got out of the military i uh i went to a federal job i was still working on base and with me knowing that the job was kind of it was bringing stress and trouble into my life i i settled with that job knowing that my worth i was worth way more than what they was paying me but I decided to just keep on going and keep working that same job for four years. And then after those four years, I said, hey, it's enough is enough. I'm worth more than this. I, I, I need better. I want better. I should have better than this. So um, I resigned from that job. And life has been great. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. So I'm going to piggyback off of something that you just said that really, that really touched. When you look at the word settle, Jay, settle stands for seems easier to think like an employee. So um, if, if I think about what you just said, you didn't want to be the ordinary person. You wanted to be extraordinary. You wanted to do something different. You knew your worth. Because that's what I feel like it takes. It takes confidence. You had confidence. You had confidence to go for and do that. And you love yourself. That lets me know that you love yourself. Because people be like, well, what's she talking about? I love myself. But if you think about it, Jay, if you truly love yourself, people wouldn't settle. Is that correct? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't settle. So I, I like that. I like that. So I got to Settlement is just, just you loving you loving somebody else more than you love yourself. <laughs> Ooh, that might be a Facebook. Can you say that one more time? <laughs> Settlement is you loving somebody else more than you love yourself. There is no self-love. Ooh. Hey, y'all drop some mics in the chat box for Jay. Y'all drop some mics. She said it on that one. That's what's up. Straight up. Really no more further uh, explanation on that. So check this out. So now that we know that you have experience, and really quick before I go to the next question, I kind of want to I kind of want to share a time with you guys where I kind of settled and I had to have my waking up. You mind if I was want to share that real quick? Right. Right. So, you know, you guys, about four or five years ago, you know, I, I got out the Army <clears throat> and um, I was working as a GS worker for the military. So the pay was amazing. <laughs> you know, I had, I was a GS worker and made more than what I made when I was in the military. So I was like, hey, I'm comfortable. But see, the thing was, Jay, is that <clears throat> when I sat down, Jay, and I started adding up the hours I had to myself, like the hours I had free to myself, I added up the hours I worked for them. And then I added up the hours that I slept. 
do you know that I work more in first place, second place came sleeping, and free time came last? At that, not, at that moment, I noticed that I was settling and I didn't love myself. So at that moment, I made a commitment that I was only gonna give that job six to eight months. I created a plan and I left just like you, man. Yep, same, we both was in the same situation. I was GS2, <laughs> so if I was a GS4, getting paid nothing. And I was like, man, working full time, going to school full time, then have to come home and just get ready to go to work the next morning. Yeah, life was not for me. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, so check this out. So what have you sacrificed then to better yourself? Well, <laughs> So anybody that knew me once I went off to the military, um, once I once I had found out that I had to deploy to Iraq, I was scared. So all I wanted to do was party, 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 blow through checks after checks after checks. So um, once I came back, I had to stop the partying. I, I lost a lot of friendships and I had to change everything because the friendships wasn't bringing me anything but negative energy. Mm -hmm. And I didn't need that. I wanted something to uplift me and bring some type of financial wealth or some type of educational knowledge with, um, within my surroundings. So, yeah, friendship, uh, spending, uh, blowing checks at the check, just a lot. Like, and it actually, uh, with me sacrificing just that little bit, it, it made a it made a big change, it made a big change within my life. Dang. Wow. Wow. So to piggyback off of what you said, it sounds like you changed your environment up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause you, cause you know, we have, you know, in the entrepreneur uh, world, we have that, you know, environment is key. So it's like when you stop settling for that environment, you had to sacrifice losing those friendships, but at the end, it bettered you. And that's powerful because let me tell you, once again, going back to your confidence, once again, going back to your self-love, when we have the awareness of, okay, these friends around me, they're not taking me anywhere in my life. Because it's so crazy that we got a similar story because that's how my story was. When I was, let me tell you, I was down in Germany, you know, I got out of the military. I was a GS worker. I was wild, right? Like partying, drinking. You know, you in Germany. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, in Germany, every it's like they love black people in Germany. So yes, when, I tell, when I tell you my ego was on like 100, I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I was young. But all my friends, they were partying, drinking every week. I'm talking about every week, every week. And my life was going nowhere. But I made the sacrifice to leave them alone, right? I made the sacrifice to do that and shoot, look at where I am now, surrounding myself around brilliant people. So that's and, lit. That's and, and you know what? The same thing was uh, for me in Hawaii. When I became a GS worker, the Asians, they loved me. <laughs> <laughs> the old, like The old ladies would walk up to me and be like, oh, you're so handsome. I know you're a woman, but you're so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> And that sideways on them. <laughs> Get that sideways. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, that's lit. That's lit. I, mean, I didn't even know how much we had in common. That's that's super lit. So let me ask you this, right? Because now that you went from the phase in your life where you used to settle, but then you tapped into your powers, you started sacrificing things in your life to be a better, better version. Let me ask you, what are your financial goals? Because I think a lot of people don't have financial goals. And by you sharing, I think it might pique the interest for other people. Well, I not only have financial goals, but overall goals. And um, my overall goal is um, to be a, a motivational speaker. Wow. Um, that's, that's goal number one. And then goal number two is to make, I've become a six-figure earner within what the next five years so um because i've always been told aj like you have a story to tell you're an amazing person you're good at speaking um so i i, I feel like that if somebody that 
has the same background as me, not having too much as a child or living in a single family home, if they come from the same background, they'll be if they'll be um, be able to easier relate to me and they uh, basically say, hey, let me follow her. Let me see what she's talking about. Wow. Wow. And see, that's very powerful because the first thing that you said was, it's not even about you. You thinking about how many people can you inspire and help be the best version of their self. And see, I feel like, Jay, that's the key to success is when you put others' needs before your own. And that's what I've really been, that's really what I've been seeing in my own organization, right? And I really feel like you're going to, I see it already. You're going to be at seven figures and you're going to be at seven figures before six years. You're going to do that in two to three years. That's, right. That, that's what I see. That's what, that's what I'm envisioning, right? Especially because <laughs> you got the, you got the secret sauce. You got to keep building up that confidence. That's all it is, right? That faith, that mm -hmm. that belief that perseverance that you have right it's going to right. get you to your goals quicker because you're going to have a quantum leap that's what you're experiencing right now i want right. to share a little something with you guys on the audience that she might kick she might kick me <laughs> later right <laughs> but i want you guys to know this is jay's first interview online so she's really coming out of her comfort zone she's really i have seen her blossom on so many levels and it levels and it's so beautiful to watch so i want you guys to light this chat bar up with some hearts drop some hearts hit the heart button and let's definitely ashe and send some love for jay for getting past her comfort zone because a lot of us are stuck in life because we can't move past our comfort zone and she's passing point past that resistance so that's very powerful that's very powerful and i like to share one of my money goals my money goal is and i'm gonna say it like this i'm so happy and grateful now that i make 500k a month i am so happy and grateful now that i'm making 500k a month that's my money goal for right now and even that's really nothing <laughs> right and, and, right. and you get no saying and even and especially <laughs> the profession that we do right, right. <laughs> so and, and the reason why i have already manifested that money is because i'm able to pour back into my community i'm able to open up my school that's called star seed academy so that all children can learn about a holistic uh life i'm happy i'm so happy and grateful that that 500k that's coming in is helping me fund my own airport my airplane line my own hotel line. So when I'm dead and gone from this planet, I'm leaving long money. I want that long money, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? To piggyback off of, uh, of what you just said, like, um, I know I had shared this before, but a lot of people um, don't know, They don't. a lot of people don't know that my dad, he's Haitian. So uh, with with my dad being from another country, and I know that I know how hard his life was mm. um, until he came to America, because um, he we would um, our relationship has become stronger over the last basically year or so. Um, and he he's told me, hey, like I grew up in the mountains, we didn't have nothing, water was scarce, electricity, uh, like clothes, shoes, the bare minimum that we we take for granted as Americans, he didn't have, and if he had it, he he didn't have much. So um, once I talked to him, I was like, man, like I want to go back to Haiti, even though I've never been, but I want to go to Haiti and basically help anybody, whether it's family or even just friends, basically give them water, electricity, clothes, shoes, a better education system, everything that they didn't have and everything that we do have and we take for granted. Wow. Wow. And just imagine, like you said, with the money goal you have, like you said, you'll be able to go back to Haiti, have that land and be able to help the people. So that's, right. that's powerful. That's so powerful. If you guys are liking what you're hearing so far, I want you guys to comment 777 in the chat bar. Go ahead, like this chat bar up, 777. Uh, Cause we're really hitting the nuggets tonight. Now I got about two more questions. Like I said, I know you kind of busy. I know I got about 30 minutes, but let me ask you something.
because I think, ooh, this one is so key, Jay. I think it's so key and so many people don't think about it. But by you sharing, I really feel like it's going to help some people out in our audience. So do you have a two to five year plan? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, my two to year, five year plan, it's just, like I said before, influence people around me. Um, my my goal is to reach at least at least a hundred and that's minimum a hundred people and let them know hey you're not in this by yourself there's a lot of people that's going through the same situation that you may be going through but you're not you're not alone let's let's work together let's come together and figure out a solution we have the problem let's come to a solution so that is my main that's my main goal um to help other people and then also a personal um goal is to be financially free wow. financially free and 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 everybody that's around me i want them to be financially free too because if you constantly on somebody money you will never you won't have nothing for yourself so be financially free and then create more income so that way that when you have it, you can invest in this something that become bigger, be bigger than you yourself. Wow. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's lit. So, <clears throat> so, um, so just to piggyback off of what you said, what is really, what is financial freedom to you? Because I know financial freedom, like people hear that and they're like, okay, I want to be financial free. But what is what does that mean? What is that? Let's let's use our imagination. Let's act like you're already there. What does your life look like now? That you're financially well, free. Well, um, with me being financially free, is I'm living the life that I always dreamed of, the life that my parents dreamed of, or even my future kids, and even family members or whoever know that knows me. Um, traveling the world when I want to not having a boss, not answering to anybody other than myself. Doing what I feel that is good for me or anybody around me. That's what financially free is to me. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Thank you for sharing that little extra tip. Now I got one more <clears throat> I got one more question for you because I hear you you talk about something about investment vehicles and things like that. And I feel like Jay a lot of people want to be financially free, but they don't know where to start. A lot of people want to be financially free, but we can't be financially free from a job. So what are some things that I know you've been working on behind the scenes that can really help our community? And I know you talked about a solution. What is that solution? Well, the first solution is to get out of your comfort zone. That's the first solution. You have to you have to get out your own comfort zone because your comfort zone is what's holding you back. So once you get out of that comfort zone, then um, for me personally, what I did was I watched somebody for six months to a year and watched him to see what he was doing. And once I got, once I saw what I wanted to see, I was like, hey, I'm ready to do the same thing that you're doing. Sign me up right now. I'm ready to go. So what I did was I invested. Um, I invested in forex, the foreign exchange market, <laughs> and with and with and uh, with that, um, a lot of people say, "Oh, well, I want to be successful. I want this. I want that." But with success, it comes hard times, and if you if you can't handle the the constant no's before your yes you're not willing to be successful you just want the success without the the trial and error or the hard times which success isn't easy you got to go through the bad and the good to get to the point that, to get to get to the point where you want to be wow that last line i almost want you to repeat that that should have been like a hold on hold on <laughs> hold on Hold on, hold on. You said something. You was like, oh, all right, I can't even put it together. It would sound like it was a poem or something. But um, that hit hard. <laughs> <laughs> that, that hit hard. And that was just the first step. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> so then after, once you, no matter what you invest into, you have to be coachable. You have to be teachable. 
and you you can't you can't be like oh well, i can do this by myself if you think you can do it by yourself you would already been there point blank period you would already been there and you wouldn't need nobody so like i've i've been watching and listening to inspirational speakers and i some uh, one of them said nobody is self-made because you always need somebody to guide you along the way so anybody that said they self-made I honestly, I don't believe that because everybody needs somebody, no matter how minute it is. That's so true. That's so true. So tell me a little something real quick. So um, <clears throat> we definitely know Forex is a lucrative skill. Um, just to, a couple questions about it. What is Forex, by the way? And how long have you been studying it? All right. So Forex is uh, short for foreign exchange market. All it is is basically the, the the exchange of currency. So, for example, the U.S. dollar, um, you go to, like, say if you go to China or Japan right. or any other country with outside of the U.S. So, you go to their country and you exchange your money for their money. That's, that's, the, that's all that it is. Um, you exchange your money for their money. Um, so, but I've been... I've been I've been trading. I've been in Sephorex for a little bit over a year now, um, and I realized that it is it's very um, it's a very good skill to have, um, especially in the the way that the economy is going right now. Because a lot of there are a lot of people who thought that they had a stable a stable job, they're basically running into a brick wall. They don't know what they're gonna do. They don't know if um, within the next month or so, if they're going to be able to feed their kids, keep a roof over their head, keep the, the main essentials going. But um, I know in January, January, February time frame, I decided to take it serious um, because I was like, I can't, I can't keep putting it on the back burner. By me putting it on the back burner, it's, it's not benefiting me now. So I went full speed ahead and took, uh took advantage of it um so since i've been um taking advantage of the skill um and all the education that i've been receiving i've my mindset has changed my bank account has changed <laughs> even my environment has changed like when i talk to my friends they're they may not be in the business but they still support me they have my back and say aj I got you. What you need? I got you. Even people that I meet just randomly, same thing. So um, I realized that even my energy has changed. So everything around me has changed, which change is good. <laughs> change is good. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's powerful. That's This is a powerful uh, testimony. Definitely a, a powerful testimony. So when closing, um, so, uh, in closing, and there, there's a little, there's a little rumor going around that in, uh, in one day you were able to quadruple your account. So, you know, <laughs> so she, she knows what she's doing, you guys. So if anybody's interested in Forex, learning how to trade like Forex, cryptocurrency, um, binary options, or anything, definitely get with Jay. Um, our, Jay is in my community. And we're having a every like every week we have a seven day trial where we tie back into the community. Me and my Generation Twelve family we tie back into the community, giving people seven days of value to really learn how this forex market is working. So if you guys want some more information, if you're on Jay's live or whatever, just go ahead and comment money at below or uh, Jay. How can they find you on social media? What's your social media name? Okay, so um, y'all already y'all already follow me on Facebook. So my uh, IG name is J under J A I underscore T H E underscore Royal the number one. Lit lit lit. So y'all make sure all you got to do is just comment the word money app. When you comment the word money app, we're gonna send you the registration um stuff. And we'll get you on our neck. We'll put you on the waiting list because, yes, we do have a waiting list. We'll be opening back up next Sunday. But, Jay, I really just want to say thank you so much for sharing 
such a phenomenal, phenomenal subject, a phenomenal topic. Um, and thank you just for sharing your light. Thank you for continuing to step outside of your comfort zone. Thank you for continuing to be coachable. Thank you for continuing to be teachable. And thank you for continuing to wake up every day and be the best version of yourself and pour into our community. No, thank you. Part of this is because of you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right, you guys, you have an amazing evening. Catch you guys at the beach and the the bank. The bank. <laughs> okay, we still on here. I hung up though, but me and you're still on here. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, that came kind of natural. That came natural. <laughs> That came natural. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was good. That was good. Okay, make sure. Hold on. I want to make sure that we did end it. Okay, yeah, we did. But um, yeah, that came. Look, that one thing that you said about success was lit. Do you know that that could have been a one-minute video right there, what you said? When you was like, success is about da-da-da-da-da. That's all, that's all you got to do is just a little small you got the juice, man. Why you acting shy? <laughs> you know what? That came off the top of my dome. <laughs> that just came like that. I, yeah. <laughs> it came natural. You can.